guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel welcome to vlogmas day four as you guys can see by the title of today's video and probably by the setting since i'm in a bathroom i'm bringing you a get ready with me if you guys have been following me then you would already know that all of my previous get ready with me's were filmed in my white bathroom at my old childhood home and i moved in august so this is my first official get ready with me here on youtube not being in that bathroom and this is definitely so weird for me to not be in my usual setting but i have filmed a handful of get ready with me's here in this bathroom over on tiktok so it's definitely not the first time that i'm getting ready and doing a full face of makeup in this bathroom but with a camera and talking and in this type of setting it's definitely very different for me it's definitely taking a little bit of getting used to looking in the viewfinder and seeing such a new background i love it this is my dad's bathroom i'm at my dad's house right now and my bathroom upstairs is not yet finished once it is finished i will be filming all of my get ready with me's in there i don't really know what look i'm going for but i pretty much brought all of the makeup products that i use on a weekly basis so before i get into makeup i'm gonna start with the road glazing milk and put a generous amount don't mind how red my skin gets i just have very sensitive skin and the second i put any product on or even just something so subtle like touching my face my skin gets so irritated i'm starting out with the dior backstage concealer in the shade 2n and i'm just going to apply this under my eyes and to the sides of my nose as well as the high points of my face and for that look of bright pink under eyes i'm going in with the maybelline eraser and this is in the shade 160 and i'm just going to blend it all out with my fingers i feel like this helps to give a very natural finish the viewfinder is making me look a lot more washed out than i do in the mirror right here so i'm not too sure what that's about i'm next going in with the charlotte tilbury what is this called contour wand in the shade light medium i have been using this since it was raved about on tiktok and i just Forever think I love this product. It's so natural, but adds a lot of color to your face. And for my nose contour, I go in with the Fenty Beauty Stick in the shade Mocha. And I do two lines right down the bridge of my nose, like so. I feel like I could use a different shade of this. I feel like this might be a little too orange for me, but I definitely love this product so much. And especially for nose contour, I feel like it really helps to give such a precise nose contour line. And at the same time, I'm gonna let this sit on my face a little bit and add the Kylie Cosmetics Lip and Cheek Glow Balm in the shade Pink Me Up. I love this stuff. It's so buttery smooth and it just is the perfect shade of pink ever. And I put it right above my contour like that. And I'll definitely add a little bit more after I blend everything out. But to start off, that's kind of what it looks like. I'm using the Refi Dual Ended Brush to blend in my contour. This is actually my first time in quite a while that I'm wearing a full face of makeup. I was breaking out for a few weeks between September and October-ish, even during the beginning of November, and I didn't really know what the cause was. I went to the dermatologist like so many different times. I was cleaning my brushes and changing a lot of my makeup products as well, but I also don't wear makeup on an everyday basis for that to be the cause of it, or or at least for that to be like a main cause and pretty much all of my skincare products are products that i have been using for years and years and products that i just like never imagined i would ever stop using so i didn't really know what the cause was i was prescribed a lot of different topical ointments like clintomycin erythromycin tretinoin i was using different sulfur masks and hyaluronic acid creams and nothing was making it better i felt like everything was just making it worse and i refused to go on doxycycline or spiritual acid tone because i just wanted to let my body run its course not saying that you guys should listen to me because i'm not a dermatologist whatsoever but this is just me explaining my story and what worked for me i stopped using everything cold turkey and i told my dermatologist i was doing that because the days that i would forget to put cream on i swore that my skin looked better so she was like if you think that your skin is not working well with these products stop using them and see what happens so that's exactly what i did and within a week or two my skin was back to being clear and i still don't know what the actual cause of the acne was it could have been me moving and all the stress that that caused me and just a lot of different life changes happening 
during those two months that my skin was just like so irritated and also just hormonal acne but aside from all of that my skin never has that many creams on it on a daily basis so it was definitely going into shock mode and probably like get all of this off of me i'm now gonna curl my eyelashes with my new eyelash curler from amazon i love this one i'll leave it linked down below if you guys are interested in shopping it and also all of my makeup products that i'm using throughout the course of this video will be linked down below for you. I forgot to bring my triangle puff for powder, but I'm going to set my under eyes with the Huda Beauty baking powder in the shade Cupcake. So yeah, my skin was definitely going through it for a minute. And if you guys watch a few of my get ready with me's on TikTok, then you would see me breaking out. I don't know how to do eyeshadow at all, but I'm going to use a few of these shades from the Carly Cosmetics palette. This is the pressed powder palette. I kind of just go in and mix a whole bunch of shades, dust it off, and then blend away. I have very veiny eyelids, so I do this just to kind of put somewhat of a color on it. And I feel like it really completes the makeup look once my mascara and everything is on. I think that giving my skin the break that it deserved, no products, no makeup, no face masks, no skincare even for that matter, it really helped. I did the bare minimum. All I did and still do every day is wash my face twice a day. I first wash with La Roche-Posay and then I double cleanse with Panoxyl and I swear that Panoxyl has changed my skin for the better and my skin has been reacting so well to those two products i don't put any creams on i don't use any cerave or anything only when i'm doing my makeup will i add a serum or something just because if i don't then my skin will be flaky and dry it definitely took some adjusting for my skin to get used to no creams on it but i love the way that having no cream on feels and weirdly enough my skin has clearly been loving it as well because i have not broken out knock on wood but of course we also have hormonal breakouts or just normal breakouts here and there but the way that i was breaking out was unlike anything i have ever dealt with but i really think that it was from the excess products that i was using and creams and stuff again don't do what i did just because you're hearing it from me speak to a professional and see what they think but just letting you guys know this is what worked for me this was all a rant just because of the facts that i said i haven't done my makeup in a while but that is the reason why I haven't done my makeup in a while because I was breaking out for so long and I didn't even want to put makeup on because I felt like it was clogging my skin even more and causing more breakouts. So this is the first time in a while that I'm doing my makeup. I got this Givenchy powder blush a few weeks ago and I have still yet to use it, but I have been wanting to for so long. So I'm going to open her up and give her a go. I absolutely love the look of pink under eyes and pink blush. So I just know that I'm going to love this. It's the same concept as the setting powder in the sense that there's four different shades. And when you mix it together, they create a perfect shade that looks so pretty. I don't know how much to use of this. Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm going to blend it in more. I haven't used a powder blush in a minute. Ooh, I love this. All of the Givenchy powders smell so good. Using that product on camera for the first time in a Get Ready With Me style video just reminded me of all of the full face of first impressions that I used to film in my old bathroom. And those are definitely some of my most viewed videos and I feel like you guys actually love them. And a lot of you that subscribe to me come from those videos. So let me know if you guys would like to see an updated version of that because I'm definitely in need of a Sephora and Ulta run. And comment your favorite products down below, products that I have never used before and that you want me to try because I would love to actually shop your guys' recommended products and use them in a full face of first impressions. I feel like that would be super fun and it would definitely give me some inspiration on products to buy because I don't even know what I would go into Sephora looking for if you guys didn't give me some suggestions. So let me know in the comments below and maybe that will be a Vlogmas video at some point throughout this month. I don't use Benetton as much as I used to, but I'm going to add it to my lips just for a nice base before lip liner. I always have the messiest mascara application, so don't mind this. I'm going to take it off at the end, and then I'm going to take this Makeup by Mario eye pencil in black, line my tight line. So now that my eyelids are filled with so much mascara, I'm going to take a dry spoolie 
and kind of just flake it all off. This is definitely one of my favorite hacks for removing mascara and you always have to wait for everything to be completely dry before doing this because it comes off way more easily. It kind of hurts. It feels like rug burn a little bit. <laughs> There, it's all off. I'm going to take a new lip liner. This is actually my first time using this lip liner. It is the NYX one in the shade Sand Beige. I'm going to add a little bit of this concealer to the middle just to kind of highlight my lips. And I'm going to finish off with the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the scent or shade Vanilla. And I'm using the 24 Hour Brow Setter from Benefit. This is definitely my favorite brow gel. It keeps everything in place and they don't get flaky ever. I'm just adding a tad bit more of powder to finish off this look. I'm going in with the Benefit Highlight in the shade Tickle. I think I may have put a bit too much, but it still looks really good. Here is my makeup look all complete. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching and you learned a thing or two about my routine. Don't forget to comment down below if you guys would like to see a full face of first impressions from me. I hope you're having an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Mwah.